you guys. All right, so I am doing a quick little um, voiceover on this because my plan was to actually videotape me at the hospital during this work day. That did not happen. So I was just wanted to go over exactly kind of what I did um, every morning before I go to the hospital. Um, and this is pretty much it, guys. I already have my meals prepped um, in my little containers, ready to go. Um, usually I will do a shake in the morning. Um, I will have a few fresh meals. Uh, you'll notice that I had cucumber and almond butter in there as well. And then I'm just making my hot tea, I grab my vitamins, and I am on my way. One of the biggest questions that I know you guys always ask me um, when I do have the, my totes in the videos, this is by Fed Essentials. Um, I have a Sophie tote and a Selena tote, guys. I absolutely love them. The details are in the description box if you guys want to go get one. Now we are moving on to the fabulous home version ultimate booty lower body workout guys this one no equipment is required other the other than an elevated surface whether it is a box a bench a chair um stairs at your house you guys get creative get innovative with that um i am obviously using a box right here that is all we're going to be using today i love this workout guys so we're going to start with full motion step ups okay notice that i am doing one leg at a time i'm coming all the way off of the box and going back Back up with the same leg okay after those um, those specific reps on that same leg I want you to finish with these deep lunges so get yourself up on the box with that specific leg I want you to come down for six to ten reps notice that I'm staying on that right leg notice also that my hand is on the wall in case you guys need some balance you'll notice that I utilize the wall a little bit just to give you guys a modification for those of you who are very don't have the greatest balance don't trust yourself um, just really want to focus on the form um, eventually your balance will get there okay so we're going right into the other leg do the same thing you're going to perform those full step ups finish with those deep lunges all right We are going to move on to our second version of step ups. This is our curtsy step up, okay, with the lateral kick out. You'll notice that I am starting, and this one I highly recommend like having that bench really close to the wall so that you can actually just balance yourself on the wall, make sure that you don't fall sideways and off of the box. Again, guys, safety is key with all of my workouts for you guys. So notice that I am. I'm taking the risk and I'm doing the other side as well, but notice that my foot is coming um, down onto the box. So I actually have full support with both legs and then I go into that lateral kick out. You're welcome to do it that way as well or use the wall as some support, okay? This one, push up through your, your heel that is on the box, really engage that glute and the leg. You're gonna be working the lower legs as well, okay? Hamstrings, quads, outer thighs, all of it with these first exercises. We are going to finish our step ups, guys, with a regular step up with a glute kickback. Okay, straight leg pick kickback, whatever you want to call it. Um, this particular one, you want to push up through that front heel when you do your step up. Lean a little bit forward so that you have more balance when you bring that back leg all the way up, squeezing that particular side of your butt. All right.
All right, you guys have seen this one. Um, I've done this many times. This one is beautiful for your quadriceps. This is the front of your thighs, guys. This one is great for that location. This you can do anywhere. You can do this on your at your kitchen table, sitting in one of your kitchen chairs. Like this, you can do anywhere. You can do it on a bench in the park. You can do it anywhere. So obviously, the lower you go down, the more difficult it will be for you. So if you need to start with a higher bench, a higher seat, go for it. But definitely make it challenging, okay? If you have a problem with balance, grab that wall. Well, don't even, don't grab it, you know, you know what I mean. You want to balance on that wall just with a hand, just a little bit so that you don't have to worry about falling, um, getting, getting off form, getting off balance, okay? So this one, again, so, so good. I do finish this particular exercise with some pulses that you are going to see here in very, very shortly. This one with pulses, guys, you're not coming all the way up. You're pretty much engaging the quads the entire time with pulses. You only come up like either a half to a fourth of the way, and it really keeps all that tension right here. It keeps all that tension on that quadricep that you are working. It burns, guys. Finish off every set with uh, five to ten of these pulses, all right? All right, we are moving on to the hamstring exercise, guys. If you do not know where the hamstrings are, it is the back of the leg, the back of the thigh, okay? This will give you the nice swoop um, in the back of the leg under the butt. Um, you want to make sure that you're working your hamstrings just as much as you are working your quads. Um, I know that some people are hamstring or quad dominant, but the, the problem here is that you need to have enough, a nice balance between the muscles, otherwise one, one muscle will compensate for the other, okay? So really focus on working both quads and hamstrings. Um, this one is the Bulgarian split squat, guys. One of my favorites. You've seen it a lot, I'm sure. Uh, this one, again, you can use the wall if you need extra balance since you're pretty much on one leg at a time. You can also finish with pulses for each set. Really engage that hamstring. Finishing off with some amazing hip thrusts. Some body weight, guys, if you have a dumbbell, if you have a baby and you want to add it to your hips to add some extra weight, extra challenge, go for it. Um, this one, we are doing body weight hip thrusts to begin. This is with both feet on the floor. You're going to push up. You're going to squeeze your glutes up and push down with your both heels, okay? That is very important. Notice that my head is kind of moving with my glutes. When it comes all the way down, my head also comes down. If it doesn't come down at times, it's because I'm not doing it properly. You want your head to be in line with your glutes when they come down, all right? That's the best form for hip thrusts for you guys. We're moving in from the double leg to single legs, guys. Notice that my hands are actually outward. This is helping me with balance on my own. So if you guys need help with balance, if you guys really want to try these single leg hip thrusts, they are amazing. But sometimes you do need a little bit of extra help. So my hands are kind of off, off side of the box to help my balance and coordination. After the single legs, I want you to hold this, hold this, squeeze your glutes, 30 seconds. I hope you guys love this workout. I will see you in the next one.